live via satellite. This is the Juicy News Network. Finish top 9,000 for the first time with my own deck. Brawl Stars Portrait Mode is back and Supercell removes all of its games from all of Russia. More at nine. So in response to the geopolitical conflicts going on with the world right now, they've decided to retract their games from Russia and Belarus. We stand with all people calling for peace. This is a small part in addressing the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. Just with all the sanctions, embargoes, and everything that's being placed on Russia right now, Nintendo is indirectly unavailable in Russia because so many banks and everything shut down in the country. The App Store suspended ads on the Russian App Store until further notice. This is a very tough position right now. Burrito summed this up very well. There's a lot of people that just don't quite fully comprehend why Supercell is removing itself from Russia and Belarus. It's not to punish 12-year-olds. It's to isolate the economy of an aggressor and attempt to use money as a way of persuasion rather than violent escalation. To be clear, it's not an advocation or protesting Supercell's decision. It's really impossible to label complicated stuff like this right or wrong. And don't think that you've caught something that's Supercell overlooked. If you were able to figure out why the majority of Russians don't support Putin, what makes you think Supercell didn't? It's not about punishing the Russian players. Ordinary people on both sides are unfortunately harmed in the conflict between the world leaders. It just happens that unfortunately one side is through physical and the other is economically. By pulling out of their economy, Supercell joins a growing list of companies that are doing so. McDonald's, Apple, H&M. They didn't pause their sales because their customers supported the conflict. This is just economics. It's more complicated than right or wrong. It's unfortunate for both sides that are in this conflict. We have the Archer Queen puts her feet in the ocean. The entire Clash Royale community just drain. Mm. Misclick turns to the craziest prediction yet. Miner in the back takes out the magic archer that's actually okay the valkyrie is the real champion here she fully counters all the champions and is in almost every archetype and overall provides really stellar defense why are there so many pekka users in jungle arena <laughs> to counter your mega knight shots fired at mid ladder <laughs> the positive elixir trade the mega knight isn't it nope <laughs> minion horde just melted you golem at the bridge to take towers i golem at the bridge to cycle we are not the same guys i invented rage spell it could be food coloring or jello but because it's in a beaker it's actual chemicals oh this is a tight one one second left lightning's the tower <laughs> that mega knight's going all oh Ooh, what a comeback this guy is level 14 with zero trophies somehow wait really no way don't give me ideas it's like 800 dollars to max out this deck now coming up here he's gonna drop down the dark prince with also a stupid move he's explaining better than i am killing my musketeer Ooh, that was a good zap almost full health musketeer i'm gonna drop down to level 13 <laughs> Level 13 E giant. <laughs> oh, that just that just went 180 so quickly. It was so articulate and it just happened. It just came out of nowhere. That was good. I think I found the greatest log bait player of all time. Ooh, ooh. They know what's up. This is an interesting concept here. Heal spell was reworked into heal spirit. Are they ever gonna bring back heal spell? Probably not. They tried reworking it three times and it flopped. How to counter princess? Lightning? 3M? Ah, uh, yes, 3M. That makes sense. What is this Dark Gobby doing? Takes out the witch, distracts the graveyard. There's still a few skeletons left on that dragon egg. Oh my word. There's no way. Those guards are going to kill the prince. One health on the dragon egg left? Hey! Wizard, right when the wizard pops up, baby dragon counters the wizard. Oh, that is game. That is game. That is the best play in the history of plays. I would just rage throw my phone across the room if I was the top player. Fireball is the most upgraded card this season. Anyone know how we can see which cards have been maxed out most of all? All time 39 million fireball upgrades 2 million lava hounds 4 million inferno dragons Ooh, looks like nobody cares about furnace though the legendary is a bit harder looks like everyone's arguing between zap and log to max out which content creators y'all is using <laughs> pirate j obviously mid ladder at its finest ah uh, we love the mega knight wait the person making this has no right to complain they have level 14 cards as well i see you with your level 14 e giant there but your point still stands. That is mid ladder. The opponent after he beats you at level nine with his maxed out cards. <laughs> That's me. All right. So Electro Wizard's going to pop off here. You got two Mega Knights. You got balloons. Two Electro Wizards now. How are those Electro Wizards still alive? Wow. 
cards that have been bad for consecutive seasons. She's only bad because Elixir Golem is no longer meta because she only works with Elixir Golem and the Elixir Golem only works when there's Night Witch, but Night Witch got nerfed because her death spawn bats don't work anymore. <laughs> Old image. Oh, look at that. Ours 69 health and 420. What does 69 mean? Nice. Average mid ladder player. How do y'all think about I put firecracker instead of arrows? He responds, but there's no spells. I don't need spells. Mega Knight can take care of it all and firecracker too. Wow, that is so mid ladder. In your head, it kind of makes sense because Mega Knight drops the forces of a fireball, but it, it it's not the same. It's it's not the same. This is handy. You got the Mega Knight counters, Fish Boy counters it, Knight counters it. I spirit skeletons bandito tombstone the witch in the other lane i think i would have rather kite with the battle ram than tank with the battle ram this goblin gang was pretty good there miner is like a knight but i can dig under the ram rider was a good one log bait mines think alike oh what the <laughs> oh my they just went for the barrel that is dirty. I don't like log bait. Something personal happened between these two bandits. Naruto! That's the game! What the? What the? That was a quadruple dash. Dark Goblin value. Dark Goblin takes care of the graveyard. It's going to take care of those guards. Survives. Rascal to tank for the Dark Goblin. Dark Goblin's locked on the tower. No way the Dark Goblin completely takes out the princess. It completely took out the princess. Oh, we got Zappy's lightning rod. Let's get it. 215 health in the tower. That was a good lightning rod. They missed their cannon. The piglets on the left side connect. They cycled arrows. Oh, no, 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 no. Double zappy lightning rod. That makes it extra satisfying. Wow. I'd be so mad if I missed two lightning rods. Finish top 9,000 for the first time with my own deck. This looks like a very, very specific off meta deck that destroys the meta right now for very specific matchups. I love it. Brawl Stars portrait mode is back. This was a portrait mode map from the beginning. The right edge makes it look off center. It's so weird. They probably can't even access the right edge. So the maps were more narrow back then, but it was only in the game for like 40 minutes. Danny fixed it real quick. Brawl Stars users waiting for the trophy season to end so they can make a post complaining about the boxes not appearing in the shop. <laughs> yeah, complaining is fun. I can totally relate. Fighting animation from Hong Yata. Can we have a fighting game, Supercell? I know they're opening a, a new game studio in San Francisco. Bo when he smiles. <laughs> the last brawler you played is who you have to live alone with in isolation for a year. How screwed are you? I hope my last brawler was Shiba Nita. And I don't mean the one in game. <laughs> nice. Me and my teammates pushing our payload. Enemies pushing their payloads. <laughs> It's true. Which brawler is affected the most after wasting their super? Edgar. Wait, wait, wait. They have a valid point here. Light mecha bow, custom model, effects, animation, sounds, voice, doesn't require 60 wins from Power League and is a cool robot for 10,000 star points. Or you got Waspo. It's got model, effects, and animation, no custom sounds, no voice, requires you to win 60 in Power League, and it costs 25k points. Hmm. Why did they have so many bow skins? I now own every available pin in the game. How did you get all of them? Even I don't own all of them. What the frick? What? This keeps going. Every single pin except for the championship one because you're not the world champion aqm bms before the match ends in the monthly finals they're spinning no no they just they just completely reset barley just picked up everything byron is healing the frick out of that barley so hard right now that ems gets taken down the gems are still in the map what a comeback i cannot believe they bm'd like that oh no oh no oh man they deserve that gives me weird bake sale barley in siege vibes i don't know why <laughs> EQM deserves this. No hate to them, but these karma cases are just satisfying. They really, really are. They really are. Anxiety generator. You one-shot Leon. Wait, you one-shot Leon. It's the clone. Am I the only one that thinks the Brawl Pass tier 70 skins too basic? Here's Eve for an example. Yeah, Bug Rico looks so much better. To be fair, Eve is just like a floating spaceship. I feel like there's not much you can really do. Me watching people unlock the Rosa pin knowing I forgot to predict. Yeah. Same Z's Byron waiting for his main attack to pierce through enemies. This is such a well done drawing and the details and everything. You even got Piper Barley in the painting. When the free version is more detailed than the one you watch the championship for. 
Did they only just change the color? Eve is going to break map maker. The new water maps. Eve's projectiles. And Eve's projectiles with her star power. That actually makes sense. My game bugged out and I saw the full exterior of the biodome. I love how detailed the environment. Wow. They actually constructed a whole biodome around the map. Fan brawler. Oh, that's cool. Imagine if these pins became brawlers. Surge when the match starts. Surge during the end game. Man, I hate four star surge power level. BB, is that even allowed? Sussy hot, but great art. That sums up my sentiment. Brawlers that nobody mains. Annual meeting. Ham, Penny, Griff, Lou, Grom, and Lola. What? Lola, Grom, and Lou. Grom and Lola for sure when they were meta. Mr. P and Brock in the meta. I know we covered this last episode, but we gotta we gotta highlight it again. It's 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 too beautiful not to. Ah uh, yes, Dynamite with 155 health. That's that's great. Boom. Oh, takes out Max and Colt. <laughs> then the Mortis. <laughs> oh, that is spicy. Oh, it's three v two the whole time. Wow. Yeah, you should be able to report that. The award for the worst gadget of the year is. Ash. <laughs> Rubble Rumble glitch four years ago. Oh, I remember this one. That was good. And you just had to time it out to 13 minutes and 14 seconds, and then you just automatically win. So good. But not as good as everyone that uses code OJ. My name is OJ, and this is the Juicy News Network.